Hello Lake County, it's the Lake County Flash for Friday, February 5th, 2021. Here is your video news source for everything Oregon Outback. It's the Flash. Shasta Livestock Auction Yard in Cottonwood, California will hold its final regular weekly sale Friday, February 12th at 9 a.m. Shasta Livestock was founded by Ellington Peak in 1961. His children operate the business today. Ellington Peak is still living and has been involved every step of the way in the decision to discontinue the regular weekly sales, according to his son, Brad Peak. Brad said Shasta Livestock's Western Video Market Auctions and its country sales are becoming a bigger part of the business, and the family decided, after years of considering possible options, to turn their attention more fully to those markets. Drivers are asked to be especially mindful of the new four-way stop sign at the intersection of South 4th and I Streets in Lakeview. This comes as the Lakeview Public Works Department has installed new stop signs to help slow down traffic near Fremont and A.D. Hay Elementary Schools. The new signs were installed earlier this week and several drivers have driven through without stopping. Public Works has installed additional signs to aid drivers. Lakeview Town Council approved the proposal for Lake County School District No. 7 to purchase the former Sunshine Children's Center building in Lakeview. The district will pay the town $115,000 in two equal payments over the next two years. School District Superintendent Michael Carter said that work can now begin on turning it into a daycare and preschool for the community. Work needs to be done to bring the building up to code, including ADA access inside the building. Carter is excited about the project. Lake Health District is working to improve its billing and collection processes, among other aspects of its operations, to be sure the district is being compensated for services it provides to patients. Partially due to billing challenges that were made more difficult by the transition to a new information system called Cerner, the Health District reported a $1.2 million deficit for December of 2020. When the district took on the process to transfer to Cerner, the Revenue Cycle team had to use two different systems to collect money, according to CEO Charlie Twait. The deficit reflects a cleanup time, he said, adding that he knows this is not what we want to see. Well, that does it for this week. Be sure to check out the online calendar to keep up with events happening around the county. Catch a new flash every Friday, the Lake County Hotspot every Tuesday. And for these stories and much more, be sure to pick up the next Lake County Examiner. Break out your favorite 80s outfit and hit the slopes at Warren Canyon Skiria on Saturday, February 20th for Snowfest. Dress up, have fun, wear jeans, spandex, sequins, and join us for the annual Snowfest celebration. This year, ski races are sponsored by the Lindsay family in loving memory of Don, Doris, Kelly, and Martin. And will feature medals that we will be awarding for skiers and snowboarders in many different age categories. Have fun with 80 styles music blasting away. Join us that evening for the Jim Howard Annual Torchlight Parade.